Okay, so this is question number 19. We're working out the value of the square root of 2 to the power of 4. Um, so that's going to be root 2 times root 2 times root 2 times root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2. And then root 2 times root 2 over here is also going to be 2. So this is going to be the same as 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. Part B says expand and simplify root 2 plus 3 squared. So I'm going to use a grid for this. Um, so over here we've got root 2, 3, root 2, 3. Because that means root 2 plus 3 times root 2 plus 3. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times 3 is 3 root 2. 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2 and 3 times 3 is 9 and that's going to be 11 plus 6 root 2 so I'll just write it over here we've got 2 plus 9 plus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 and that gives us 11 plus 6 root 2 okay question 20 says work out the value sorry work out the value of 9 to the power of negative a half so that's going to be the reciprocal of 9 to the power of a half um, so it's going to be 1 over 9 to the power of a half that's what the negative does it gives us the reciprocal okay and um, 9 to the power of a half is the square root of 9 so it's going to be 1 over the square root of 9 and square root of 9 is 3 so that's going to be equal to a third. Okay, question 21. The diagram shows a triangle ABE and a rectangle BCDE. And we're told that the area of ABE is equal to the area of the rectangle. And we're also told that BC, this length here, is two centimeters shorter than BE. Okay, so if I call the length BEX, I know that BC is going to be 2 centimeters less than X, so I'm going to call that X take away 2. We're being asked to work out the length of BE, so we're working out this length here, so we're basically working out what the value of X is. So the knowledge that I need to use here um, is knowing the how to work out the area of a rectangle but also how to work out the area of a non right angle triangle okay so the formula for the triangle um, the area of the triangle um, so this is the triangle okay the area of the triangle um, is going to be equal to half a b sine c okay so the angle here is what we're going to call angle c and this length doesn't matter which is which uh, one of these is going to be a and the other one is going to be b so we're doing a half of a b times by the sine of the angle c so that's going to be a half of a which is x times b which is 10 so we'll call that 10x times by the sine of 30 degrees okay so we should know that the sine of 30 degrees write it over here the sine of 30 degrees is equal to a half okay that's something that we need to make sure that we know so I can replace this with a half so this is going to be a half times 10x times by a half so that's going to be a half of 10x which is 5x and then half it again so that's going to be 2.5x okay so the area of my triangle is going to be 2.5x so now if we do the rectangle Okay, so the area of my rectangle is going to be x times x take away 2. It's just going to be um, the length times by the width. So we've got x times x take away 2. And if I expand that, 
that's going to give me x squared take away 2x. Okay, so um, the area of my triangle is going to be equal to the area of my rectangle, so I can say that x squared take away 2x must be equal to 2.5x. Okay, now x can't be equal to 0. Okay, I know that x can't be equal to 0, so otherwise none of these shapes would exist. So because x can't be equal to 0, I can divide through by x here. So I can say that each term, if I divide it by x, x squared divided by x is x. Take away 2x divided by x, which is 2, which is equal to 2.5x divided by x, which is 2.5. Okay, so I could only divide through by x because I knew that x is not equal to 0. If I didn't know that, then I can't divide through by x because I can't divide by 0, and it could have been 0. Okay, so, um, and that means that x take away 2 is equal to 2.5, or x is equal to 4.5. So, the length BE is going to be equal to x, which is 4.5. So my answer is going to be 4.5 centimeters. Okay, um, question 22. The histogram shows information about the time some students revise for a test. The first bar represents students who write, revise for less than 10 minutes. So this is less than 10 minutes and um, we want to estimate the number of students who revise for less than 45 minutes. So that's anything before this line here. So let's draw in a line that represents 45 minutes. Okay, so anything before this line is what we want. Okay, so the thing to remember here is that with histograms, the frequency, or in this case, the number of students is given by the area of the bars. Okay, so for example, the number of people represented by this bar here is going to be the base times by the height of this rectangle. So it has a, a base of 10 and a height of 0 0.8. And um, I'm gonna do my working out over here. So I've got 10 times 0 0.8, which is equal to eight. So that's going to be eight people represented by this bar here. This bar here has a width of 20 and it has a height of 1.6. So we've got 20 times 1.6, which is going to be 32. So 32 people are going to be represented by this bar here. This one here has a base of 10 and a height of 2.2. So that's going to be 22 people. And this one here, we're not doing this whole bar, we're only going up to 45, so it has a base of five and a height of two. And that's going to be 10 people. So this bit here is going to be worth 10. Yes, yeah? so remember that's just this part of the bar. We're not going further than that. So the number of students who revise for less than 45 minutes is gonna be the sum of all of these bars here. So we wanna add all of these together. So we've got 40, 62, and that's going to be 72 people altogether.